What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Today's video, I'll be discussing what I believe to be a almost near perfect fighter. It's time we talked about Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. This game was developed by HAL Laboratory and published by Nintendo with the Japanese release date of November 21st, 2001 and the North American release date of December 3rd, also 2001. Melee is a widely popular follow-up sequel to Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64. So, what makes Super Smash Bros. Melee so good? Well, first off, it has near-perfect tight responsive controls. Quick note, as I'm talking about the controls, I'll be discussing for the GameCube controller itself. <clears throat> L and R allow you to use a shield or roll the X and Y buttons are your jump buttons, and most characters can do a double jump. The A button is your basic attack. Hitting A plus any direction at the same time allows you to do a special strong smash attack. The B button is your special attack, and then hitting B in any direction allows you to do different forms of a special attack. Some examples of this are Pikachu summoning a bolt of lightning or using his thunder ability. Donkey Kong uses a charge up Kong punch. Mario, one of his special attacks is a classic fireball or a variety of others depending on the character. Speaking of characters, this brings me to my second point. There's a wide variety of them to play. There's tons of characters to play, tons of characters to learn. When you first start off the game, there's 14, but a total of 26 in the game. They range from speedsters, like Fox or Falco, to slow powerhouses, like Ganondorf or Donkey Kong. Next off in this game, there's a wide variety of maps to play on, such as the level Jungle Japes, from Donkey Kong's game, Kirby's Dreamland, Yoshi's Island, or even Pokemon Stadium, or if you've ever seen the Super Smash Bros. Melee tournament, they often play an unlockable map called Final Destination. Super Smash Bros. Melee takes a completely different concept to the health bar or meter. Instead, you have a percentage of damage that you take. And the idea being that you want to knock your opponent into the stratosphere or off the map. The more damage you deal to your opponent, the further they can fly. So, if an opponent has, like, let's just say, 15% damage, they won't fly, fly excuse me, far at all. But, if you get an opponent up to, say, 178% damage, and you hit them with a strong attack... They're going to fly really, really far and be very, very difficult to come back on the map. This was definitely a unique take for many fighters of the time. The next element that makes Super Smash Bros. Melee so good is there's a ton, and I mean a ton, of game modes. You could play the standard versus if you want to play yourself versus three computers or two or one or play versus a bunch of friends you can enter into the single player and try your luck at the adventure mode which takes you through a bunch of areas such as the mushroom kingdom donkey kong jungle escaping a ship on the super metroid world and a variety and host of others <clears throat> there's also Tons of events, and the most difficult of all the modes in the game is a special mode called Cruel Melee. For anyone that's played this game, I challenge you to test your luck in that mode and see if you can beat my personal record so far, which is 10 KOs in Cruel Melee. I did it using Pikachu. It was not easy. On top of all the modes in this game, there's also characters, levels, and trophies to collect. And if you still go through all these and still want more, then you can always go into a custom melee 
mode where you could set the lives, items, percentages of damage, or other factors for your own enjoyment. If you own a GameCube or a Wii, this game is an absolute must-have. And if you have it, well, hey, tell me, what's your favorite game mode and your favorite character? But back to the starting point. What makes this game so good? Well, for starters, it's been critically acclaimed and was also featured in some recent EVO tournaments in 2018 and 2019. Many pro players still believe Super Smash Bros. to be a nearly perfect balanced fighting game and especially in the Super Smash Bros. world of games. Its follow-up brawl, yes, while it may have better graphics and better sound, this game is just too perfect and too balanced. It's fast-paced, chaotic action from start to finish. So, whether you're playing one-on-one -on -one against the computer or four-player free-for-all versus your friends, there's always something new and fun to do. I, myself... When I used to play this game all the time, it was nowhere near the pro level. In fact, I actually tried to enter a tournament at one point at my local play area and completely, though I thought I was good, got my tail kicked. But I still had a great time and it was definitely worth playing. So, like I said, is this a game you've played recently? Do you have a favorite character or map that you play? Or have you never played this game? If you haven't, I highly suggest getting it. As always, if you've enjoyed the review, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy, tumultuous times, and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks, everybody. Bye.